Bowlby Mine is a 200 hectare 490 acre site located just southeast of the village of Bowlby, on the northeast coast of the North York Moors in Redcar and Cleveland, England. It is run by Cleveland Potash Limited, which is now a subsidiary of Israel Chemicals Limited. It produces half of the United Kingdom's output of potash, an agricultural fertilizer. The mined ore consists of 35 to 45 percent sylvite potash, specifically potassium chloride, and 45 to 55 percent halite, rock salt, or sodium chloride. The rock salt is extracted as a byproduct and used across the region as a de-icing agent on roads in winter conditions. In early 2016, polyhalite mining commenced. Polyhalite, marketed as polysulfate by ICL, is a natural multi-nutrient fertilizer containing potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. It is not a mixture of sulfates. Polysulfate is sold in both granular and standard powder grades, worldwide. The mine has 1,001 employees and can produce up to 1 million tons of potash each year. At 1,400 meters 4, feet deep, it is the second deepest mine of any kind in Europe, and has a network of underground roads extending under the North Sea, totaling 1,000 kilometers 620 miles in length. Cleveland Potash Limited had a reported turnover of £194 million in 2013, up from £162 million the year before. However, despite the increased turnover, the company suffered a total pre-tax loss of £194 million. This was the result of a huge £200 million impairment charge arising from a significant fall in potash prices. History In 1939, potash was discovered in the area at Islaby when prospectors were drilling to look for oil. The reserves were investigated in the 1950s but appeared too deep to exploit economically. Solution mining was considered from 1962, but not pursued. Imperial Chemical Industries ICI began construction on the mine in 1969, and started producing potash in 1973. The mine was the source of all of the UK's home-produced potash, around 55% of the total UK market. It occurs between 1.2 and 1.5 kilometers, 0.75 and 0.93 miles below ground and has an average seam thickness of 7 meters, 23 feet. The mine did not achieve profitability until 1984. ICI formed Cleveland Potash Limited jointly with Anglo American, and later sold it to them, which in turn divested it to Israel Chemicals Limited in 2002. In April 2011, the mine began the world's first commercial production of polyhalite, a rare mineral that has been found in large quantities in a seam out to sea from the mine, with total resources estimated at over a billion tons lying more than 1.5 km kilometers offshore. The mineral has a commercial potential as an inorganic fertilizer. In April 2014, Cleveland Potash was awarded a £4.9 million government grant to support the mining of polyhalite at the Bowlby site and parent company Israel Chemicals Limited has pledged to invest £300 million in the area before 2018. Plans include extending the mine to the east and upgrading facilities to increase production capacity. Environmental groups have raised concerns that the development could have an intrusive effect on the local area. Topic: Transport. Much of the output from the mine is transported by rail, as the site is located south of Loftus along the route of the former WRMU Whitby Redcar and Middlesbrough Union Railway, which was closed on 5 May 1958. Today the line is open from Saltburn to Bowlby for goods traffic only. T-Sport handles most of the bulk cargo export from the mine, via a specific potash and rock salt terminal. Topic. Underground Laboratory 
Because of its depth, Bowlby Mine is the site of the Bowlby Underground Laboratory 1,100 meters below the surface 2,800 meters water equivalent. Early experiments now completed include the UK Dark Matter Collaboration, and Zeppelin III. Current experiments include the directional recoil identification from Trax Experiments Drift IIB Detector. A low-pressure negative ion time projection chamber NITPC, designed to detect weakly interacting massive particles WIMPs, a prime dark matter candidate, a second detector Drift IIC, is located on the surface at Occidental College, Los Angeles, California. USA work is being carried out at the underground laboratory by the UK Center for Astrobiology to study extremophile organisms that can survive in a salt-rich environment. The site is also used for testing NASA Mars rovers. In October 2017, the European Space Agency ESA sent astronaut Matthias Maurer as part of the fifth mine analog research sortie. It is thought that the brines may be able to support extremophiles, and be like similar sites in caves on other planets. Topic. Health and safety. In June 2014, an employment tribunal revealed that the Bowlby mine would have been unable to cope in an emergency. Former rescue team coordinator Stephen Angus was fired after failing to ensure enough safety officers were trained to respond. He was also accused of failing to maintain the required standard of breathing apparatus. Cleveland Potash Limited has been served with 11 notices for breaches of health and safety procedures by the health and safety executive since 2012. They include not taking appropriate measures to protect workers from the risks of explosion, falling ground and inadvertent entry into the mine shaft. In April 2014 there was a collapse at the mine caused by a falling boulder. In 2012 a 50-year-old man was airlifted to hospital after suffering chest injuries when a hose burst and forced him against a skip. In 2007, 24 year old miner Darren Compton was killed by falling rock. He had been operating equipment supporting a sidewall in a recently mined roadway. In the early hours of 17 June 2016, popular miner 55 year old John Anderson, Ritchie to his friends and family, was killed in a gas blowout while working in the mine. Topic. See also Winsford, home of Britain's largest rock salt mine Polysulfate, new organic fertilizer